These Romanian police officers are surveilling the border with Bulgaria to prevent irregular migrants from passing. The thermal vision technique through the thermal transfer of heat brings out some shapes that distinguish themselves from the static environment. In March, Romania entered Schengen's sea and airspace, but full entry into Schengen will likely depend on Bucharest implementing tougher land border controls. Here, resources to combat irregular migration have increased steadily over the last four years, and fewer migrants are trying to enter the country. Since the start of 2024, up until today, we've had 87 cases of people trying to illegally cross the border. That's in comparison with about 300 cases in 2023 and approximately 400 cases the year before. Far-right parties, such as the Alliance for the Union of Romanians, say the government is failing to fight for the country's economic interests and is bowing to pressure from Brussels. In Romania, the partial introduction into the Schengen area is seen as insufficient by some opposition parties, a topic frequently raised by far-right parties as the European elections draw closer. Romanian citizens will elect 33 European MPs. Romanian populist movements are not part of the current EU parliament, but recent polls show they could now score up to 20% of votes. We should have a stronger word to say in front of the people of Brussels. We shouldn't accept their meddling, their imposing of climate policies. Everything coming from Brussels should be negotiated or halted from there. Or we should be able to modify them in the Romanian parliament by extending our sovereignty. Romania's far right uses economic nationalism as well as a strong social media presence and targeted disinformation campaigns to increase its support base. It was like a bubble of oxygen for the uh, radical populists slash far-right actors to capitalize on the lack of knowledge or cognitive biases that part of society already had against liberal type of values, against the way European Union was depicted as being elite. The AU now has high hopes to enter the European Parliament, but they're also counting on parliamentary elections, which will be held in autumn.